love Trollope. Don't you? Sorry, sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, that is so true. Yes? Listen. I'm right, with you now, yeah, totally with you now. Thank you. You should submit to being guided by your elders, Alice. You should watch that, Anne. That's not attractive at all. How peculiar. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're like magical beasts. Yeah. That's just what you said about the Kent brothers. I wonder where they're from. Uh, North London. Of course I don't know. What, what, what are they doing here? I don't know, just found them. I hereby claim ownership of these horses. Is that allowed? Uh, uh, yep. Under Cornish law, he who seeth wild horses first doth uh, owneth them. Yep. <laughs> Morning, Mary. Morning, Angela. Morning, PC Alan. Please, call me Alan. Isn't that your surname? Both. My mum promised her dad, Alan, on his deathbed she'd name her son after him. Then, to her horror, she fell in love with my dad, John Allen. So your name is Alan Allen? It is. In fact, there's a sergeant in Truro called Martin Martin, but that's just ridiculous. So, any more news on those horses? Not yet. I've checked out the local circuses. Gonzos have mislaid a midget, but they've got all their horses. We were imagining they were some mythical creatures spirited in from some magical kingdom. Well, that would just be speculation at this stage. Absolutely not. You're looking very handsome these days. What have you done to yourself? I've split up with my long-term partner, WPC Smothers, in fact. Aww. Which has released some tension around the temples here. Yeah, and the moustache. Ah, yes. As part of the healing process, I shaved off the moustache for charity. Oh. How much did you raise? Two pounds. So, did you and Smothers have any kids? Sadly, no. WPC Smothers doesn't believe in sex before marriage, so I honour that preference for sex. Long, rather tumescent years. Now she slipped away and married Sergeant Nenley. Whore. I haven't seen you reading before. No, Mary never approved of me reading when we were an item. I just thought, why should I suffer the effects of passive reading? You know, the drowsiness, the total lack of conversation. I just find now I've got so much more me time. Is that Greenwich me time? Well, I'd better pursue my inquiries. I want him. I want him very badly. What do horses give you? That's my problem with horses. Where's the wool? Where's the milk? They won't fetch a stick. No, I don't like horses. Never have. You think you're getting on, you turn around and piss on your shoes. Mm. Mind you, I've had the same with women. It's fantastic, though, isn't it? Them just appearing like that. Like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Only one fewer. And without the men. Or the apocalypse. <coughs> if I may just interrupt your heavy drinking. Catch him! Catch him! Kick him up in the air! Reza V, the three horses found this morning. Still no leads. I've been taking suggestions on what to do with them. Yes? Eat them. Thank you. And my plan of action is to do nothing. It's a strategy we're adopting increasingly because it seems to work. For the time being, they will be looked after by old Jake here because he has a field. You won't just kill them and eat them, will you? Everyone else, keep your eyes and ears peeled. You know where I am. No, 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 no. The police station in Pam. Thank you. So, it's not illegal as such to cover yourself in droppings and dance naked in a car wash? Off the top of my head, I'd say no. How is the witchcraft centre? Very special. We've just had some virgin's eyelids in. Virgin? Ooh. So, Alan, drink, is it? Lower the inhibitions. Nope, I must away. I have a reported UFO over in Penwoon. 
Last one turned out to be some tin foil stuck in a tree, but you can never be sure. Harry, I need you to tell me how to reel in a man. Is it me? No. Good. Who is it? It's a secret. Hmm. It's PC Allen. That's a big mistake, that. No, listen. I need you to tell me, in simple terms, exactly what a man likes in a woman. And don't be needlessly smutty in your response to that. Well, I'll tell you what we don't like. What, dirty, slutty women, is it? No. No, we love them. Oh. Women who don't touch, yeah? We like a girl who touches and likes to be touched. OK. Where? <sighs> There's nowhere we don't like to be touched. Come on, you touch me somewhere. Come on. Oh. Huh. See, I love that. Oh, good. Yeah, and that's not my favourite place, not by any long chalk. Oh, no? No, no, in fact, that's near the bottom. Exactly where near your bottom? No, no, my nose is near the bottom of the list. My bottom's near the top, if I'm honest. Right. Yeah, just below my genitals. I'm with you. I'm with you. Although there is a special place that men love that women don't know about. Oh, God, I'm tense and excited. Back of the neck. No! Yeah, you try that out and plod. It's as powerful as that thing Spock used to do in Star Trek. Thank you. You know how to catch them? Yeah. Grew up with horses. Best way to meet girls when you're 14. Pony club cam's a total meat market. You do it then. Excuse me. Can you tell me where I might find the mystery horses of St. Gweep? Oh, well. You never know when they're going to appear. I should just hover around the village if I were you. You know, spending money. Thank you. You know, Ange, these horses are doing us a power of good. <laughs> There hasn't been this many people in the village since that little kitty got stuck down that well. Well, I say stuck. Obviously, placed. <laughs> Is it, Ange? Ange. Mm. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? You're gonna have to stop all this reading, Ange. It's turning you into a moron. How dare you? Virginia Woolf put her heart and soul lungs into this. Yeah, well, she told a pack of lies. She made it all up. She should be prosecuted. Well, if you'd bothered to read more than page one of Watership Down, you would know that when you read, you enter a unique and enchanting world. You are a shopkeeper. Why don't you try the unique and enchanting world of shopkeeping? Because it's not unique and it's not enchanting! <laughs> 